Hi. Uh, gonna show you some of the tools you need or you might want to have um, when you build one of these. These are the new kits that you can buy of the uh, steel chainsaws and even trimmers coming soon. They're becoming popular and when you look at some of the forums that um, talk about them, you know the, uh, the guys and girls, they have issues when they're installing them and many times it's not because uh, it's because they're not really prepared so uh, you, you can check your uh, tool chest and make sure you have some of these things around because they certainly will help you uh, one of the first things is uh, Durko HT uh, it's a German product you can get it like on eBay um, probably other places, but it's the uh, best for sealing up the surfaces between the case and the cylinder. And uh, should you be, uh, uh, you know, really uh, feel strongly that you need a, 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 a joining compound, uh, this is a uh, Halimar Blue. Uh, and it's absolutely the best. Uh, I think Rolls Royce invented it. Uh, for, but you would like prepare uh, your case gasket with something like this. And uh, I can't tell you enough how helpful that is. You can use that for like uh, greasing up your uh, your needle bearings and you know whatever uh, the uh, chain adjuster um, things should, the same things that you'll run into super important Loctite um, I got this um, from the Chinese. And it was like a bunch cheaper. And this is real uh, Loctite. Uh, you know, they have a factory over there too. Um, the uh, Chinese use it. So uh, I saved a ton of money. Uh, assembly lube is helpful. Uh, steel has this stuff called... Uh, uh, I don't know. I'll come back to that. Uh, it, it, don't use this on on your piston, but it, it would be like for putting in the, uh, the the rubber pieces in the AV. This is just excellent, clean oil. Um, I use it on the rings, and uh, rub it on the inside of the. Uh, the jug whenever I'm getting ready to insert the uh, ring to piston in. When when you order your saw, it is a great idea to buy you one or two of these. And to when you order the saw, uh, go ahead and order some extra screws. There's tons of ways to find out what to order. You just have to do your homework, uh, do some reading on the, as, as I said, their, their forums where guys have went into extreme detail on what to do. But uh, sometimes when you get your kit, you're, you might be missing something or you're overzealous and you strip something, you know. Um, some, some of the testing tools that are really really helpful um, this is called a flange and you can get it at your steel dealer um, you need to walk in with a little authority and don't meekly ask them for it uh, research and get your your uh, your part number and go in and say I want to order this part and it was like less than 15 bucks but um, this you, know, you put where your carburetor goes and there is a screw there 
that goes down the impulse line that closes it up. And uh, uh, I'll talk about that in a minute, but th this is a really important thing to have in your toolbox, as well as this. Um, this is a plate that you will um, use to cover the exhaust hole on the cylinder. And um, they make these uh, where if you don't buy this, you can use one of these behind the carburetor to help seal it up. And I'll come back to the sealing and the pressure and all that. Um, we're just talking about tools right this minute. Um, this is an inexpensive tool. It comes from the steel dealer and its purpose is to um, hammer the rings in. I'm, I'm sorry, not rings, bearings. Um, and it just makes it easier, you know, so your, your saw comes out in a better shape. Um, there is a, another piece to this. I didn't buy it because um, uh, I, I can, but anyway, this piece uh, helps you put the uh, oil seal on. Very helpful. This is the this is the coolest tool. It's I mean it's like ten bucks or something, um, but there's a uh, a brake spring that you got to put on, and it is the worst, the worst. But with this thing, it's like it's nothing. It's, it's fun to do. That's hollow, and you stick it on the pin, and put your in uh, the spring just like goes on. It's just so easy. Um, I don't know that it's made by steel but they definitely sell it because they use it. Uh, there are various tools that you can use to hold a piston uh, so that you can like remove a flywheel or a clutch or whatever and uh, you stick these down the uh, spark plug hole and uh, uh, it goes in and the piston comes up and hits it and it, it holds it in place so that you can remove a, uh, you know the uh, the part um, I find a, uh, a pair of uh, crooked uh, needle nose invaluable this is another um, wonderful tool it's, it's not that expensive uh, the purpose there's a, a graduation marks on here, and so when you go to uh, uh, adjust your carburetor, you you can set it so that zero is pointing straight up, so that every time you turn it, you know how many times one or two or one and a half, and there, there's no guessing to it. And uh, carburetor tuning is part of what you're going to do. And uh, that makes it very easy. Uh, you're going to need a, uh, they make T-handle ones. This is just something I happen to have. Uh, like a, an 8 millimeter. You'll use that for uh, putting on your carburetor and taking it off. And this is a T27. All the screws they have T27 heads on them. So I got a 3 8 drive uh, T27 and I have one on my drill. And this is this is great for removing screws. You, you don't want to put a screw in with this because you could uh, strip it out. And you wouldn't want to do that. And another tool this, this is made by a company called Archer. And um, it's, you know, uh, it's just like this. And this is made by steel. But the thing is, the difference between them is when you go to remove the decomp plug, you can't get this big heavy duty thing in there to get that out. But this, this tool, even the, the, 
the fat decomps that are made by um, Farmer Tech, who is the company that um, produces these uh, chainsaw kits. This goes right over it, and it's uh, it's cheap. So you definitely should have one. And then you need like uh, uh, 17 millimeter thin wall sockets, uh, 19 millimeter impact thin wall socket, and and those were used for removing the clutch and the uh, 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 flywheel. Uh, you need some uh, extra steel fuel hose. Um, I believe it's like uh, R3 and R5. Uh, I, I don't have that in front of me, but you need a couple feet of it, and you need that in your toolbox. Um, there are... Um, these help you put the either or. You don't need both. Um, this is a steel product, and this is um, a product that you know, you buy on the internet, uh, they both work great. And uh, this is something that you slip, the, uh, the crank uh, slips in through here and your piston sits on top of it. And you use this when you're putting your jug on. And this usually comes in a kit um, with several of these rings and this and... Uh, There's even one kit that has has this in it. So you definitely need that kit. Very helpful. Uh, and if you run into, uh, these are some small files. And when you're, uh, when you get your, your jug, the inside of it might have some rough places along the ports. And so um, you would smooth them and you would use something like uh, 250 wet dry sandpaper and 400 wet um, dry sandpaper to uh, uh, you know to smooth it up so that your rings uh, don't get caught when they're going 30,000 times a minute up and down. Uh, you might need some. Um, different size uh, extensions and uh, definitely some some magnets so that when you're working you can you can hold your um, your screws and so forth so um, that's an overview of um, some but not all the tools that are available but if you had these and this one tool I'm getting ready to show you you would be, you have to have this tool. So you don't have to have this brand. You, you, uh, Mighty Vac is uh, uh, a very popular tool that is rebuildable. Um, but what this does is it uh, builds a vacuum or it builds a, um, a pressure. And it makes sure that when you're, um, after you've assembled, for instance, the case, that the case integrity is um, complete, that it will hold pressure or it will hold vacuum. And the vacuum comes into play when you are testing your rings um, on uh, your you know, when after you put your your crank in, and uh, rings look uh, something like this, and they slip over the the leg of the crank, and um, these usually will show a problem with a vacuum uh, before they will with pressure. So the the tool that you buy, be sure that it does both. Uh, they're both equally important, and then it has these uh, these fittings, and they're not really uh, enough. There, there's a, a little fitting that that still makes. It's called a nipple, and it will work with this and uh, others. Uh, but you really need that, and it's four or five bucks. Uh, it allows you to um, connect different size tubes 
uh, to the tube that you use off of here. And they've got, in this kit, they've got like four different size tubes. Uh, and a way to, uh, to make it even longer by connecting the two tubes together. So, or the two long tubes. So, uh, and I, and I, and I said, um, that I would explain, see, this is what you would hook, um, this to. And, um, then you button up your engine, uh, by having this over your, uh, uh, your muffler port on your engine. And what that does is it, uh, allows you to check again to make sure that your gaskets are tight, your screws are tight, and you don't have an air leak. Because if you have an air leak on a chainsaw, it's not going to run right and you're going to burn up the engine. So it's real simple to make sure that doesn't happen. Spend the money. Um, you're getting a great deal on a, on a, uh, a kit when you go to hutzel.net. Uh, and order the kit now they don't have these so you know you'd have to turn to amazon or ebay but they are going to get um they told me they were going to get uh uh you know lots of tools um and there's one other tool and uh hustle does sell this in fact this is where i got it it wasn't but like four dollars um this uh, removes the flywheel. You screw it into the flywheel, and then you, you turn this, and it pushes the flywheel out after you've removed your, your, your nut with uh, uh, a socket. And so uh, just these few, you know, $5 here, $10, uh, $50, um, you know, it adds up, but overall, uh, when you build a kit, you're going to want to build another one. So you're going to make a small investment. And what's going to happen is you're going to have like a bunch of fun. Uh, I'm telling you. It's uh, it's addicting. I keep mine in. A, I don't want the threads to get chewed up. Okay. Uh, I thought this might be helpful. So that was the whole purpose of this video. Hudsoul.net is where you find the kit. And then you just got to scrounge the rest of this together. Thanks a lot.